Welcome to Morocco. I've been here for the last eight days and I've been touring on my bike. So I thought I'd give you a bike check and show you what I've been using. So this is my, my fairly standard uh, touring setup now. Um, if you saw my Riding Home From Norway video, you'll be fairly familiar with this bike. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. Um, but I've made a few modifications since then just to help kind of uh, improve the ride and really dial in the, uh, the setup. So the bike is a Mason in search of, and it's a drop bar, um, I guess a mountain bike style bike, uh, but I really like it for this, this kind of trip. So I'm running a bit of a, a Shimano hybrid for the, for the gearing. I've got GR, GRX Di2 11 speed shifters, and I've coupled that with an XTR uh, mountain bike Di2 rear mech. So they're actually an older model, but there's still plenty of stock available. So, um, I've just been using that just to give me a slightly wider gear ratio, so that gives me a 48 large tooth. Um, that's one of the limits of the 1x GRX, it's quite, quite a tight um, rear cassette, so having that, that bailout gear is quite nice. And then I'm running a 36 tooth um, chain ring up front on an XT 12 speed chain ring. And that's primarily because I was running the old XTR 11 speed chain set to match the mech, um, but I can't get a 36, 36 tooth chain ring at the moment, so um, I'm making do with 12 speed. It works fine, creaks every now and again, but you know, it's a tour, so bikes always creak. So onto the wheels and tires. This is probably my favorite setup. Um, I'm running, these are, well, at the moment they're custom hunt wheels, but there'll be a, a production version fairly soon. They're basically the limitless gravel rim um, with 28 holes front and rear, uh, and they're on, boot, they're on boost mountain bike wheels. So it's a trail wide rear hub. Um, from the Hunt range, and then a Son 28 Dynamo front, and then I've got these awesome Renner's Antelope Hill 55 millimeter big fat slick tires. They're just super comfy, and you know I'm touring. Like top speed isn't isn't my priority at the moment, um, so these are nice and fast on the road. But I can go off road and have a you know a decent amount of grip. If it's wet, I might struggle a little bit, and if it's super steep and um, loose, then you just have to be a little bit careful, but generally they're very capable. And the main thing is, I think they look absolutely awesome. On to the cockpit. Um, I'm using my trusty Ritchie Venture Max alloy bar. I love these bars. I've been using them for about six or seven years, and they just work really well for me. GRX shifters, and then I've, improved well updated my setup from the last trip i've got this redshift stem in there um it's really good for this kind of trip especially as the roads here aren't super smooth it just takes the edge off and when you go off road it again helps take the, the worst of the hits away on to the sort of uh, the dashboard as such i'm still running the original wahoo element um GPS's, I've got a couple of those and they just seem to work. So I don't see any reason to, to change at the moment. Um, I've got a GoPro on the bars and obviously one in my hand I'm talking to. And then lighting wise, I've got the K light system. So I've got the, the light on the front here. I've got the switch to turn the light on and off. And then down the side, I've got in the side pocket of my bag, I've got the USB charger. So I can keep all my gadgets and everything charged up as I'm on the, on the move. Onto the bags, I'm still on the Tailfin R&D team. And that means I get these fancy custom bags, which is very nice. So this is a custom frame bag for this bike, very well proven, I've used it on loads of trips. It just works really well. Top tube bag as well. And then I've got my custom rear pack. So I've actually got uh, my camping gear for this trip. In the end, I'd, I've only really camped one night. Um, accommodation is pretty easy to come by here and, and pretty cheap, and it was freezing cold up in the mountains. Um, so I only camped once, um, but essentially my, my sleeping gear and casual clothes are in the back here. So in the rear bag, I've got my Albion Down jacket. I won't go into details on clothing in this video. I'll do a separate one, so keep your eyes out for that one. I've got my PhD custom sleeping bag, just in a separate dry bag. I've got a Thermarest Neo Air sleeping pad. It's a full length one. Um, I just can't be doing with short ones on trips like this. Inflatable pillow. I want to be comfortable and it weighs nothing. I've got a little travel towel because sometimes you, know, you just might want to have a wash in a stream or you might stay somewhere and they don't have towels. So it weighs nothing, always worth taking. And then I've got my um, 
my casual clothing again i'll run through that in a separate video but i leave that, that in here um, and that just tucks in my bag and then when i get somewhere and i have to leave my bike downstairs or not in my room i can just grab that and that's everything i need for the evening in my frame bag i keep clothing that i'm going to need um, and items i'm going to need during the day uh, so again i'll run through the kit properly but there's a few layers like gilet leg warmers um, i've got a little albion folding backpack that's good just to put stuff in either if you're emptying your bike to stay in a room or you stop at the shop and can buy a load of food it's just useful to have there it weighs nothing um I've got my gloves i've got a very useful little albion stuff sack full of cables all my cables and a two pin socket so i can keep my stuff recharged so that just stays in there i've got a pump this is a the crank brothers pump seems quite reliable quite light and it's got a couple of layers of tape on there for for just bodging stuff um what else got i think there's some cable ties floating around because again stuff might need to be mended um got my di2 charger because di2 batteries go flat and you don't want to get stuck single speed especially in the atlas mountains and then i also have the poles for my tent i'll come on to the rest of the tent in a second but i keep the poles in there just because it allows everything else to fold up neater i've got my mini tool kit so i've got in here chain breaker multi-tool um you know chain links spare bits and bolts you know bolts patches all that kind of thing and then i've got another spare tube the other one is mounted just behind the saddle here um, so i've got two tubes obviously i'm running tubeless but if you split both tires then you're going to need two tubes to get yourself going again so the top tube bag i've got my trusty little camera um, it's an olympus um, it's a film camera because i don't know that seems to be a thing i'm trying at the moment um, got a little exposure helmet light um, i've got this awesome fabric ratchet uh, multi-tool with all the different um, bits in there, really easy to use. Um, I've got some some vulcanizing glue um, for my plugs uh, and patches, hand sanitizer. Um, got a spoon in here. I've got some earphones, and then I've got sunscreen because it's nice and sunny, and a little tube of dermal, which is really good for preventing saddle sores and things like that. And then lube-wise, I've got a couple of these little um sample tubes of squirt wax lube which i find works really well in this dry weather and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and finally onto the, the front bag here um so i'm running the the mason condenser rack which actually mounts directly onto the fork so it's a proprietary rack for for mason bikes um and i've got an eight liter dry bag on here and this is basically where i keep my tent um, I won't take the whole lot out now, but it's a Nemo Hornet one-person tent. Um, so it, by keeping the poles separately, I can just compress everything down into here. And then in addition to that, I've brought with me a set of these Rab down slippers, um, which have actually been one of the most useful sort of luxury items I've brought with me. I've been staying in lots of auberges, auberges and things like that and it's obviously winter in Morocco, they don't have heating and the floors are really cold, so they've saved my feet. So that is my bike packing setup for my tour of Morocco. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to check out my separate kit check video um, and also the actual touring video itself. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like stuff and all of that. And yeah, catch you soon. Cheers.